Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lynn Lise. I'm a 31 year old American living in Switzerland and sharing my life with you guys. Today, I thought I would do a day in my life as well as a little healthcare chit chat. Last night, I got a cortisone shot in my back. I'm probably gonna cry every time I film today. <laughs> um, this is, I slept without pain last night and I am like beside myself. I can't believe like I'm sitting here right now and I'm not like, I feel no pain in my back. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna talk with you a little bit about this whole journey because it has been a journey. Healthcare in Switzerland is not for the faint of heart. They have a lot of feelings and a lot of thoughts and a lot, a lot of anger about healthcare in Switzerland. Um, it consumed my life for the past six months. This shot should have happened a long time ago, but I was receiving like no care from any of the doctors I was seeing and it has just been so frustrating. So today I am kind of on like 24 hours, just chill rest. So I thought I would take you around on what my day is going to be like. Um, the sun is out. I can't I feel like this is like an omen. I didn't have back pain and the sun is actually out today. We're gonna go on a walk. I'm gonna sit down with you after I've had some breakfast and kind of start sharing with you about healthcare in Switzerland, especially healthcare abroad. I think that I've lived abroad before, but I have not lived abroad where English wasn't the f like first spoken language. And this is something that if you're gonna move abroad and you have health conditions or you don't have health conditions but you like want to have a baby or like you think you might have to go to the doctor at any point living abroad i would just be aware of that this is something that i was totally naive in and has honestly rocked my world um so we're gonna chat about that i really want to know in the comments though I'm gonna talk about it today, but like, I really wanna know what you guys wanna know about healthcare once you've watched the rest of this video. Um, I feel like I could do like a multiple part series on all different aspects of healthcare, the cost, how to get it in Switzerland, what it means to get healthcare in Switzerland, navigating healthcare, not in English speaking countries. There's just like a lot, there's a lot of pieces. So share my story with you today, but I definitely wanna know like what you guys wanna hear about it. like first and foremost any meal I'm making I am just focusing on how much protein it is that's what really like helps me feel my best it helps me like reach my goals that I have for myself but also it's just like what makes me feel like the most clear-headed I know today I'm gonna do a lot of writing and like work so I know that I need a lot of protein so I'll just crumble this kind of up in here and cut it I could have crumbled it with my hands um, and then I'll stir fry this for a bit and then add my eggs in
Okay, so this is for me like a very normal breakfast. This might be weird to sun, but this is just what makes me feel great throughout the day. Try to get around 30 grams of protein in like every meal, especially breakfast. So this gets me there and I think it's great. So I tell you, do you what you wanna do for breakfast because like half the stuff I see online about breakfast, I would never eat, but like this is something that I'd eat and that leaves me feeling really good not bloated, full, got all my protein, so. So let's chat a little bit about health insurance and healthcare in Switzerland. Now, this is definitely something where I could talk about this for hours. So if you guys have questions, if there are things that I do not answer, please put them in the comments. I feel like I could make a 10 part series on this. So what we'll do is I'm going to chat with you a little bit about what health insurance, how it works in Switzerland. I'll tell you about the issues I've had within it and a couple of my own experiences. And then I'll tell you real quick kind of what's going on with me. So first things first is Switzerland is not part of the NHS. This is something I get questions all the time. Everyone I talk to is always like, oh my gosh, you're having such a bad experience with the NHS. That's so surprising. Free healthcare isn't exactly what it seems. No, full stop. Switzerland is, it's very different. Everything is run completely differently. So health insurance in Switzerland is all privatized. I like to compare it to honestly like used cars salesmen and getting car insurance. It's a very kind of sleazy, brokery, weird system. Not really made with the patient in mind. When you arrive in, in Switzerland, you have three months to pick your healthcare plan and you have to have it, otherwise you're fined. And it's very expensive. So in Zurich, basically like the lowest monthly payment you could do is like around 390, 375 maybe. And that's with a very high deductible. So here they call it a franchise. In the US, it would be very, it's a deductible. So you pick a monthly premium that is dependent on your out of pocket. So you can do a low monthly premium, but a high out of pocket. And what the high out of pocket means, every time you go to the doctor, you pay. So this is something that was really surprising to me because I've had various health insurances in the US, different states, um, and typically you have health insurance and you'll have a copay general visits will be covered and then kind of specialist visits are normally what come out of your deductible. Here that is not the case. So you pay your monthly price and you pay every visit and every doctor's appointment until you meet your deductible. So that was really surprising to us when we got here was because there's a lot of things where they talk about things are covered under general care. Um, everyone has general health insurance in Switzerland. Uh, that just means you can go to the doctor. You can go to the doctor in Switzerland, no questions asked, but you pay for every visit. So that's kind of the first thing. Then, you know, you are paying for this private health insurance and to some extent you feel like it's kind of, you know, a right, right? Like I'm paying for this, so I deserve to receive good care. But that is where the major frustration for me has come is we pay a lot monthly for insurance and the care I have received here is absolutely horrendous. I have shared this on social media and the messages I've gotten from women who are Swiss, who have been born and raised here, who are expats, have all shared horrific stories with me. It's really, really sad kind of going with that, you know, I have never, this is very privileged of me to say, but I have never felt like that I was a woman. Like I'm a woman and I've never felt like that was something that was like looked down upon or I've always been, you know, in the US, you know, times where people would say things about women or, you know, comments were made and I always was like, you know, F you for saying that, that's not okay type of thing. But it was never something where I felt like, I just never really felt like I had to think about being a woman every day. That is because I'm a white woman, middle class, like privileged. I definitely understand that. 
But moving to Switzerland, I have felt that I am a woman, like, in a bizarre way. I ha I every day feel like I am different than everyone else in society other than men because I am a woman. It's so transparent that I am a female in Switzerland and it's absolutely crazy to me. If you look back at Switzerland's history though, it does make a lot of sense. Women weren't given the right to vote here. 60s, 70s, I don't, I'm not exactly sure. It was a very, like not a very long time ago. So women in society here are just viewed very differently. I have gone to talk about like women in the workplace and been shocked at the things that high level executives who run like the equity divisions there have said about women in the workplace. It's disgusting. <laughs> um, I have been shocked on hearing people in power and women, you know, say, Women need to dress a certain way in the workplace in order to be the same as men. Women need to lower their voice when they're in meetings so they can be perceived as an equal to men. Like this is the kind of stuff that people talk about in Switzerland and it's crazy to me. So kind of feeling that I'm a woman in Switzerland has also been very transparent when I've been going to the doctors. So I have been pushed off by every doctor I've seen. And after the first couple appointments, I had heard stories about women not being taken seriously at the doctors and I really didn't think much of it. I thought, well, I'm like a strong, confident woman. I'll dig my feet into the ground. I will be heard, no problem. But I left these couple of doctor's appointments feeling like I was weak. Like I felt like I was wrong. I was in the wrong, I was weak. I was scared. It was very weird experiences. So I started having my husband come to all my appointments with me because I didn't know if it was because I was a woman, if because I don't speak great German. I don't know medical German terminology. Uh, it's just not something I have like grasped learning. So I thought, well, my husband's a German speaker. I'll have him come with me to the appointments. And what has shocked me and him is that when you go to the appointment with your husband, the doctors will then speak directly to him. He is not okay with that. <laughs> Makes a point to oftentimes speak back in English, point, you know, this is my wife we're talking about, you know, directing it back to me. And then it becomes this kind of game in a doctor's office where I'm explaining a problem, the doctor's speaking directly to my husband, my husband is saying, talk to my wife, please, she's the patient. And then it feels like this game and you're being charged per five minutes. So then you're kind of like in this rat race, like how can I get this over with as far as possible? I don't wanna be charged for more minutes. Like it's this just bizarre thing. So that's really been a huge issue. And that's something where a lot of women on social media have reached out to me and said that they have not been heard by doctors in Switzerland. They are not listened to. They feel as if because they are a woman, they're treated differently. It's just been a really sad experience. And I think if maybe I wasn't paying for it, you know, I'd probably brush it off more, but because, you know, it's a huge expense out of our monthly income for health insurance that I just expect good care. So it's a really crazy thing. I have story after story after story about these doctor's visits. And yeah, it's just a crazy thing here. So last night I was able to finally get a shot in my back um, for a slipped disc. And I'm hoping that I can get some relief. This experience I had at this university hospital was the better experience I've had. Um, we're all willing to speak English there. The doctors explained to me what was going on. They listened to me. Um, I feel like I was receiving better care. So. My back doesn't hurt today, which is crazy. I have not, not had back pain in months. I haven't, you know, to be able to like take a deep breath and not be in excruciating pain is really exciting today. Um, so hopefully I'm one step closer to feeling better. Um, if you have chronic pain, um, this is something I definitely don't think is talked about online enough. Uh, like you can just see someone and think, you know, their life is perfect or wow, they're so strong and you don't see all like the tears and like, like the despair that I felt on a daily basis.
Anyways, I might have looked fine in all my YouTube videos I've been posting, but my, you know, vlogs for Spain, you didn't see when I had to take my socks and shoes off because I couldn't walk anymore. You didn't see when I was laying in a park having to stretch my back because I was in excruciating pain. Like, you know, I don't want to share those things because it's not fun to, you know, be crying and be like, honey, take a video of me crying in the park. So, you know, I think this is just to say like, you know, what we see on social media isn't always true. And I think that's why I feel really excited about YouTube is I want to share like vulnerable pieces of life because I know that there's a lot of other people who might be sim facing similar situations, you know, maybe this can be like a space. So I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to cry a little bit more because I need to get it out. I have lunch too. I have a really good lunch that I'm going to make. Um, so. meals so it's roasted chicken thighs in the oven with like some rosemary and salt and pepper and then I have some sauteed sweet potato and chickpeas in caramelized onions and then we have some salad I have this like green goddess dressing basically so yeah this is like lunch today this is one of my favorite things okay but how pretty is this this is like such a good lunch I wish you guys could smell it from here
up with you today, you guys. I so appreciate you being with me while I cry, while I sulk. I'm so happy to be on this journey with you. So make sure you subscribe and I will talk to you soon.